You know what's so yeah. cool about Cobra Kai and what I appreciate about you and Corey and the people who... I think it's a tragedy when people who have stereotyped roles or classic film roles and they don't... They're like, no, I would never play that character again. Or like, <laughs> I would never bring that person back. I've... I've been past that or whatever, right. but I love to see, like, I wouldn't think Karate Kid would do as well if it didn't have the actual people from the right. original film in it. Yeah. I wouldn't have never even watched it. Right, who would have cared? I would never even watched it. Yeah. So, like, I like that, like, if the Frog Boys came back, it still has the possibility to be the real actual Frog Boys that came back and can be yeah. the same storyline and, like, you yeah. can follow it along and be like, oh, shit. That was the coolest thing for how they kept reaching back Right. To nostalgic right. yeah, things from great. Karate Kid and bringing yeah. it back to that's the new so film. Cool. So, so it's what we want now. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. And I, I think that's huge right now. I think everybody's doing that, yeah. remaking everything, trying to bring back nostalgia yeah. from everybody's childhood. So, I think that's, I think that could be big. You should definitely right. keep going with that. Yeah. And like other people, you know, Jason, I mean, uh, Jason Patrick, uh, I've been talking to him about it. And maybe we can find an arc for him on the show. You know what I mean? Bring him back. You know, something would be great. You know, he didn't die in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you think they're doing well with remakes when they do them, or it's I mean, it's like uh, some of them it's like hit and miss. For most I of guess them, so they're, yeah, they're making a lot of remakes, and I don't, I don't like the remake th situation. I, I don't, I don't like it. I, I just feel like why not come up with new scripts? There's got to be new scripts out there. But, but it, you know, that's how it works. It's a property, and so they people are going to see it, you know, whatever. But I think that's I think for sequels and stuff that's cool, but remakes I'm skeptical of that. I haven't seen a remake yet that's like, oh yeah, that's better than the original or even as good as the original. Yeah. Uh, do you think? Because they say we're in an era right now that is either a big blockbuster or independent movie, and yeah. those movies in the middle kind of like disappear. Yeah. Do you see a way in the future where we can get back to that? Well. Yeah, like that was was so cool about the '80s. Is like Lost Boys was like maybe 17 million or something like that, which, which was uh, not huge. It was just a, but it still was like everybody got paid well, and you know it was like a real movie. Nowadays, yeah, you got the, you're making movies for really little, you know, very small amounts of money or these massive things. So, I think there's always going to be. It's so cyclical that I wouldn't be surprised if it comes back because look at like. We were watching streaming now, and there's commercials again. Right? I'm, I'm glad for that. Like it kind of like sucks, too. but I'm like, yeah, people are gonna start getting paid. Yeah, well, that's true too. And also, I don't mind commercials. Maybe I got maybe you know I remember being like, oh, you can fast forward the, through the commercials, and then now there's no commercials, and it's like, yeah, but now there's not time to get up and do your laundry, fold your laundry a little bit while you're waiting for the show to come back. <laughs> on. You know what I mean? Or go the, get a yeah. soda. Or that's something, exactly you know? what my dad says. Right? <laughs> Watch it on TNT, then you know go yeah. to Netflix. I need some breaks in my <laughs> show. Yeah, exactly. Get a little break. And also, commercials these days are pretty interesting. You know what I mean? Like they make they make pretty like little movies. They make like 30, 30 second little movies. Yeah. You know, Usually so that little skip thing comes up. I only see five seconds of it. Right. That's how it's always been for me. But now on streaming, you can't do that. On some of the streaming, mm. the, it's it, it breaks for commercial. You you can't even fast well, forward. My thing through. is is that the reason that I love streaming and all these apps is because they came out and they were like five bucks a piece. Right. I'm paying like cable prices right. again. It's back to keep all my to right. keep all my apps together. I got apps. I got Hulu. Exactly. I got Disney for the kids. I got yeah. you know what I mean, like Apple Plus. And now you know, I'm paying. Whatever. And I got Hulu Live, which is like eighty dollars right. or some is shit a month. Really? I don't have that. It's like Live. 70, 80 bucks for to watch sports. Yeah. And, and then, then you're watching the game, and it's all glitchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and she cuts out and shoots. Uh oh, connect to your internet. What? Right, and and so I think that's kind of my point is I think it'll come back just like commercials came back and like you know I think that that mid movie that mid level movie might come back but I I have no real information. Well, there's <laughs> a couple of people told me this I don't know how true it is but that the sales of DVDs are sort of coming back. Really, that's DVDs? interesting. DVDs, DVDs. I can't. Not I've said that. Who's buying them? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to use a DVD anymore. I can't even find a DVD I, player. I can't literally. I was like, I don't have a DVD what? player. I would hey, use the I, PS5. For I, like yes. my, I have <laughs> Oppenheimer on DVD now. In my house in Puerto Rico, I have a bunch. But if you put it in the, have you put it yet in the... Yeah, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Is it, I like, it? Is it like to have it because like... you. Because I like watching kid, movies I used, on demand. Oh, I used to, uh, I used to collect movies. 
Yeah, I collect movies. Like I collected, like my dad collected VHSs right. in my house. We had like right because that was also the only way to have And then it grew into like me collecting my own DVDs right. when they came out. And I was like, they were like playing cards for me. I was like, ah, I got, yeah. I got to get all the Godfathers. I got to get all the, you know what I mean? Like I had to collect <laughs> the series if I had if I liked one of them, the yeah. Mummies. I had all that shit. So yes. Maybe I don't know. I was like a little collector. No, and I come from a country where. Hurricanes, then you have no internet for a, you oh, know, a few a days. Point. That's a good point. You know, like a yeah. nice I, used DVD. Dra- I used to drag my favorite ones down to the basement for tornadoes. I know what you're talking about. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and winter in Nebraska, you don't go anywhere. You just watch movies. So it's yeah. like. And also, you know, when I was in New York, uh, you know, um, after college, we were broke and. You know, uh, we just we didn't have cable. We just had like five or six videotapes that we just watched. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'd watch like whatever That's television how you honestly we could fell get. in love with movies too, and, and yeah. learned the lines, and like you fell in love with the characters. Because I right. used to watch a movie. I could watch a movie over and over, like a yeah. song. You and know people say I mean? that about like, Lost Boys. They're like, I watch Lost Boys. People say every day. Of my life, I watched Lost Boys. <laughs> they, that's really. what, at the at these statues. conventions, yeah. the, big, the huge Lost Boy fans. That's yeah. sweet. Any yeah. stalkers? I have not had any bad experiences with fans. You know, no stalkers or anything. Like Usually, that. they're pretty cool with the stalkers, and you take them out on dates and shit. You're like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cool. cool. Yeah. You want to stalk? Instead of stalking, let's make this happen. No, no I, I think that's I mean, what I said. I was like, I could yeah. never have a stalker because I just be like, hey, hey yeah, 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 what's going yeah, on? Like the on. comments, uh, the more the merrier. Yeah, let's like, do this. <laughs> keep it coming. Keep it coming. Yeah, who's got two thumbs? <laughs> <on the> stalkers. <laughs> have you seen the, the King of Comedy? King of Comedy with uh, Robert De Niro. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Like it kind of showed. Like that's the first movie. I'm like, huh? You know what? Having a stalker, <laughs> not yeah. that good of an idea. You know, getting to the hotel room, getting random calls. <laughs> right. Yeah. Having a real stalker is not good, and especially for women. You know, I think that's where it's really. Yeah. I mean, for men, of course, they deal with it. I mean, I'm, you know, good looking guy. I think, but not not like <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not like a real heartthrob. You know, you like, hang out, you, know. you go out on the road with Corey a lot. Corey got stalkers. Yeah. Feldman got stalkers. Yeah, I mean, more so, more in the soccer <laughs> direction than I have, but still, his fans are pretty cool. You yeah. know, have They're, you hanged out with his angels? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, we heard about with, his angels. Yeah, the angels. I just, there's even a picture of me with a halo on. You know, just being like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you know, I I love Feldman and and I love his energy and his performing. You know, he's such a great performer and everything like that. That you know, he goes through some nutty phases and I think that Angels was a, a little nutty it was a little like Hugh Hefner like wanting to be Hugh Hefner you know a little bit kind of thing thought but it was that's awesome not a bad idea I thought it was I awesome I don't, I don't <laughs> that's a bad two idea two chicks on his side that's a great look <laughs> well, I saw him in Ralph's in Woodland Hills one time I, was I like, ran into him in Ralph's, Ralph's like, that's that same Ralph's that yeah. same one yeah maybe I saw you over there the one, one time over on, uh, yeah I've been going there for years no Winnetka yeah, when yeah, that yeah, came, yeah. When that, I don't Five want to pierce. put out the full location. I don't know who's, oh, yeah, I don't know who's out of your style. Yeah, I <laughs> that. Hey, did right. you already have your AD's Angels era? Or did I just come in right in time? For the AD's Angels. Yeah, it, 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 it hasn't yeah. begun yet. AD's Angels? Did you miss it? The <laughs> Dolphin Angels? You miss the Angels? Or you, you, you... No, I, I was asking just to be sure because I want to be around when AD's, AD's a Angels. frequenter lover of strip clubs and all things <laughs> yeah, ladies. That. So. That. Well, that is a nice thing about being around Feldman is that there's a lot of beautiful women around Feldman and sometimes scantily clad. You know, so. I love that. I love that. Yeah, we're big, fi- big nice. fans of Feldman on the show. Yeah, yeah it's nice. for yeah. sure. Yeah, exactly. And also, you know, his uh, his angels, you know, I knew the angels as well. I mean, Courtney also, you know what I mean? And Was there a rotation awesome. of angels? <laughs> I think there were... I don't think every angel was present all the time. So mm. in that sense, how many angels were there? I thought there was just two angels. There were 180. There was no, I'm kidding. 180 <laughs> <laughs> angels on call. It's like like, <laughs> like a lot of them. No, I think they were probably about uh, six or seven. God dang. Angels, maybe yeah. Now when you bring Frog Boys back, are the angels gonna come back and he's gonna? <laughs> they will be maybe. in there. You guys will be, each have one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Your classic you vampire killers. That's you gotta the way have we should the ladies. Do it. We should do it like we're just total, like just just full on entourage. Yeah, you know, with the ladies. That's a good idea. Did you guys save the world? <laughs> yeah, save the world with the ladies by our side. Save I think that's a good call. That's a good idea. Did Lost Boys create action figures of you guys? You know, there's Fun- Funko Pops. Uh, of us of the Frog Brothers, they haven't yet done an action figure uh, for me. They've done like for David for the you know it's the vampires. I think some of them have had action figures. I think it's going to happen soon because 
they're doing action figures of all kinds of characters. Yeah. And like the Frog Brothers, they got to have action figures of the Frog Brothers. My kids are really into action figures, like the really complex ones, you know, that, that move. yeah, that move with the My articulation. Hates Barbies if they don't, they right. don't have the arms that like she can pose and stuff. Cause some no. Barbies are like, yeah, the exactly. Whole, <laughs> the whole arm just moves. They right. don't have no bend in the elbow. It's all about that articulation. Yeah, you know, for I don't the, know why, but levels. she's like, oh, she's like not as excited if I get her one. It's got like, so now I got to look for the Barbie. And of course, it's like three times as much for the Barbie that moves around. Which yeah, has no, expensive exactly. dog never wants the, the yeah. $5 Barbie with the stick arm. You right. You're like, come on. That's how we started too. We were like an action figure was like, you know, a few bucks, you know, and, but it was, that's yeah, what but he, he only was. did this. Yeah, exactly. He's only chopping with the back little button. Yeah. <laughs> now it's like my, my kid, uh, my 15 year old just got TMNT, these new TMNT action figures, the Ninja Turtle action mm -hmm. figures. And I forget the company, but it's like, they did a amazing job on these action figures and it's like 450 bucks for, for the set. Damn. Yeah. 450? 450. Yeah. And that's, that was at what are they the doing? price. You know, it, it went up to a thousand pretty quickly. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so you got so now they're worth something. Yeah. It's like an so investment now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you're like, hey, hey, hey. I take try it not easy to on think Donatello. About that. He's exactly. <laughs> worth something. Let's put money on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get repossessed. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. That's right. The bank. You some know. people are parenting now. They're like, no, we're gonna keep this one in the plastic. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Like playing in the hand. I try not to do that. I'm like, just look at this one on the shelf. It'll yeah, be worth just look something. at it. They're like, but I want to play with it. You know, <laughs> that's crazy. So hey. that was crazy. Like you basically cried on command when you wanted to. And right. and, you, and speaking of family life, you got uh, two kids, right? Yeah, I got two boys. I two got boys. you know married now. I, I just it was last week that we twenty five years. Not that we've been married, but that I met her twenty five years ago, like last week. Hey, that's Wikipedia cool. says your wife's from Amsterdam. Is that true? That is true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. She How'd was you guys meet? Um, she was just an actress in New York, uh, you know, I shouldn't say just, we, we were both struggling and it was a blast. We had lots of good times. I met her at a party in Hoboken, actually. Is that where you started partying? You were like, see, I, I you, learned you started how to party. partying, you getting in there in New York, met your wife. That's what it was. I, I learned how to party. I learned how to party. I learned that, that you can go out and have a good time and you don't have to always be thinking about work and about what, I mean, not just work, you know, when, when it's acting, it's fun. So it doesn't seem like work, but yeah, I learned how to party. And so I, I, I won myself a wife. Nice. You know, I mean, I've always been, I'm kind of a serial monogamous. So, so you, have you been you know. to Amsterdam or she was I've just born been. there and came I, or like, she's she, not really, she lived five years in Amsterdam. Oh, her years. parents were, her dad's Dutch, uh, was born in Amsterdam and, and he, and then, um, they lived there the kind of an ideal life in Amsterdam for five years of her life canals boats you know all this kind of thing bikes you know riding bikes around and then she moved to New Jersey and then it was Damn, all the goodness was over <laughs> yeah exactly what's the smoke <laughs> yeah. 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 where are the windmills <laughs> <You know? laughs> 